It's very overwhelming to be honest. It's kind of, I'm trying to digest it all. Um, it's an amazing turnout. I mean, the amount of people that showed up here, uh, I'm terrified uh, and equally excited and humbled by this all. I mean, I, 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 right now it just feels like this, it feels really youthful, it feels vibrant, and uh, I hope I don't let them down. Underdog, spiritual, and ferocious. Those are the three films that I think um, encapsulate this film. I mean, it was an incredibly schizophrenic process. You know, um, I broke my hand, I, I broke my foot, I tore my shoulder. Everything that could have possibly gone wrong in the making of this film did go wrong. We were in the, in the beginning of the pandemic, I was in the biggest slum in India, and uh, the production went down, and it kept going down, and we found a way to pivot constantly to, 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 to make this film, and uh, you know, I've shot part of it on my iPhone, there's been GoPros, there's everything we've thrown at this film. Um, and uh, it's, been, it's really been a humbling experience and, uh, and uh, yeah. I'm very excited. It's very personal, this one, uh, because I'm close with Dev. I was a close friend before we started shooting. And so I kind of really feel the pressure for him. It's a big night for him. I just want it to go well and the last time I had that was with Neil Blomkamp on District 9, where we were friends before we, you know, shot the movie. And um, and we were kind of watching something together. Um, this, I'm just like, just did a little role to, just because Dev asked me. I was like, I'll do whatever you want, man. I think he's a, a, super, a superb talent. It's tough sometimes, you know? Like watching him really taking an enormous amount of strain. But he shouldered it, you know? He was a general, an absolute warrior when he needed to be. And then he has this incredible heart and sensitivity and humanity which I think you see in his roles as an actor he is like that he taps into that as a director with actors he can also tap into the like the Michael Bay version where it's like just get that camera over there before the Sun goes down and we all lose the shot um, but I think you see that also in the movie there's not a lot of guys doing action that have his kind of sensitivity and heart and humanity Man, it's really exciting because I feel like a lot of as actors aspire to work with really accomplished filmmakers, but, but to be trusted by a first-time filmmaker, that's, that's really special. This is amazing. It's so dynamic. There's so much energy. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm not a fan of putting things in a box. I think it's more free-flowing, my experience on this film. So. Very, very exciting because uh, it's one of the best festivals and uh, we've been waiting for this film for the last three years. We shot during the pandemic, so it feels great because I, I'm from Toronto and, uh, and you know, uh, Toronto Film Festival has the same feeling where people line up along around the block the entire night to see movies, so uh, that kind of an audience is always very exciting. You know there are people who are really wanting to see your film, so that's very exciting. Uh, it's a beautiful story of emotions and uh, pride and, uh, you know, dignity and all that. So I hope people take all of that. Right now the world needs that more, more than anything. We need that inner peace right now. So I hope people take that. Yeah, Monkey Man is literally the perfect fit for Monkey Paw Productions and what we want to do uh, with Universal. This is a movie that has all the, the things that we love. It's like... It's got meaning, it's got grace, it's a beautiful film, and it also has Dev Patel like kicking butt throughout the entire film and being awesome. Um, it's a new vibe, and, and just, um, yeah, it's, the, the, from the moment I, I first saw 
um, an early cut of it, I was like, this is like potential to be one of my favorite films. That's right. That's right. And I, I, I premiered Us here in 2019. So I have a really soft spot for this, uh, for this town, for this festival, for this theater. And it's, it's always really warm, always really um, exciting. And this is the perfect movie for this audience. It's just gonna, it's gonna pop off tonight. It's very exciting because uh, this is my first time in Texas and Austin. And of course, South by Southwest, start with that is like amazing. I'm mean, like, you know, the kind of buzz the, our trailer created and people are so excited, you're cheering for it. It feels amazing and um, I hope people will love the film as well. Uh, the film is like, um, you know, revenge, love and justice. That's what I mean. Thank you.